everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, we're gonna know these two beautiful ladies. I know you know them already. Shay from Life with Shay and Leia, expat guide with Leia. Expat guide Filipino. Expat guide Filipino, sorry. <laughs> they have been here in my channel two times already or more. So today, we're gonna know them. We're not gonna ask them heart nerving i mean nerve-wracking <laughs> question we're just gonna have fun today <laughs> so first i want to ask them first how are they so how are you leah i am great how is i'm amazing <laughs> <laughs> i'm divine <laughs> how about you shay i'm super great since i'm able to spend all day with you guys yeah yeah, by the way guys, we spent whole day in the salon. I mean half day since this morning. <laughs> and we have new nails and new lashes. <laughs> we have just liquored it in front. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let's start this vlog. Let's ask them the questions. So the first question for Leia and Shay. So what do you think your best quality is? Oh, I have a thought. <laughs> um I think I'm a good listener um, and uh, I think it's also needed in my line of work <laughs> but I have been a good listener when it comes to uh, people who are um, you know when they're sharing um, I love to listen and analyze and uh, for me I think it's one of the best qualities because not everyone is is um, how to say this willing to listen to your problems, your issues, or to whatever it is, right? But if you need a shoulder to cry on, if you need a shoulder to, to listen, if you need an ear to listen, I, I am there to, to listen, if you're my friend. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why we're drawn to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you listen to our problems without, <laughs> without, judgment. without judgment. So how about you, Shay? Um, I think physically, I'm great at visualizing my thoughts so that means creating what i what mm -hmm. i thought what i have in mind yeah um character wise i would say that i have um what do you call that like strong determination or strong something strong <laughs> <laughs> strong determination or i'm firm like I, okay i can give an example i was uh I was in a bad crowd before. Mm -hmm. I talked. I talked about this with my uh, friends as well. So when I was working in a call center, my friends were all using drugs. Um, mm. They were oh. they were experimenting things and they were doing this and that. And I was in that crowd, but I would say that it was never. I have never. It didn't occur to me to try what they were doing. So I think in that way, I'm not very easily to influence with. So that I think is my what was the question? Best Great quality. best quality. Best quality. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Should I answer it too? Yes. I guess. Yes, <laughs> Maya too. <laughs> my best quality, I think I am caring. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm very caring. And I think I am a, you know, I feel like I don't know if it, this is a good quality, but I always feel like bad like if something like has no nothing and I have something like I feel bad about it. Mm -mm. So, it's good and bad. <laughs> yeah, it's good and bad yeah. quality. <laughs> um, we call it, um, what do we call it in Bisaya? I'm very like, um, maikugun ba? Mm -mm. Like, yeah, no. maikugun. Yeah. And that's really, I think that's more of a bad than good. Because it's hard to say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It. I. It's hard for me to it's say no. It's almost impossible to say no. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you have that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a bad quality. <laughs> Not really good. <laughs> How do you prefer to de-stress? Uh, I do a lot of de-stress. Like I do a different. De how to say this, a lot of different de-stressing stuff, like I don't focus on one thing, so I do yoga, I dance, I sing, uh, sometimes Muay Thai, free diving, scuba diving. Um, I have a lot of things that I would like to do 
when I'm distressed. But um, but usually, I love music. So if, for example, I easily uh, there's some something on work that I that is not uh, that is out of my control, so I just mm -hmm. put on uh, music, or I also have my handpan. So I play the handpan, <laughs> and uh, yeah, my first go-to is music. And then if that's not enough, then I go to the sea and I dive, mm -hmm. or walk out in nature and just go barefoot. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite things to do uh, to de-stress. How about you, Shay? Okay, so this is Yen and Yang. <laughs> okay, so the inexpensive way for me to de-stress is just really to go out in nature and just like really, um, you know, get lost in its vastness. So nature it is. That's the most inexpensive way. But the most expensive way is to travel. <laughs> <laughs> I love to travel. Yeah, I know. Like, you know, if you're bro broken hearted or if you have a really big yeah. problem, you just want to travel and just forget about it. And then, you know, think about it again when you get back. <laughs> yes. And then you still have that one. Yeah. <laughs> you're now stressed. you're broke. No, you have to work hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're stressed again because you're broke. Yeah. <laughs> It's double of a problem. <laughs> Me, I like to journal and read. When I read, I, al I always forget my problems. Mm -hmm. So that's my kind of de-stress. I read novels because it makes me focus on other people's drama in the novels. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I read when I'm stressed. What's the best gift you've ever been given? Uh... Are you talking about <laughs> physical, <laughs> physical possession? And, uh, possession? Like a life gift. A life, life gift. gift. Oh, it's okay. Let's let's cover both. Let's cover <laughs> so, uh, physical uh, or materially, uh, probably the GoPro. <laughs> talking about recent, uh, because it's I needed it for my vlog, and I have been renting for the past months. I have been renting a GoPro everywhere I go, every time I dive. Mm -hmm. So when I had it, I feel like oh, this is too cool to have the GoPro. I can I can just uh, bring it and uh, swim with the turtles. Yeah. So that's I think one of the best thing that is materially gifted to me the past months, and uh, for not materially. Um, the gift of peace, <laughs> the gift of peace, really. Um, and I think also it comes with uh, the lifestyle of um, doing meditation and trying to be more conscious and be more aware of the energy around trying to be, trying to have the boundary. This is something that I, it was really hard for me to do before, to create boundary with people because I was like, like, like you, like um, a yes person, like, okay, you need me, I will go there. Yeah. You need this, I will give you, you need, but now I... For me, this is a big gift because it's a big achievement for me to be able to put a wall. Mm. And because I have to take care of myself first. I have to take care of my own energy first before I can take care of others. And it's for me, I re it really, really made a big difference on my peace. Mentally, physically, physically as well. Because you know what? Whenever we are not at peace, our body... Uh, is actually going to store some stress. Mm -hmm. And I felt it mostly in my stomach, mm -hmm. uh, tummy and uh, neck and shoulders whenever I there's something wrong or there's some stress or something like that. But now that I'm more at peace, like physically also it helped me to be more um, better, feeling better physically. So I think it covers all of the aspects of life, physically, mentally, and spiritually as well. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Shay? All right, so uh, material possession. Um, because you all know I love uh, uh, creating um, videos. That would be my laptop and my camera, cameras and the, the accessories. There is no way uh, for me to afford the laptop I have now. And I'm very thankful that um, it was you know, uh, given to me. And all of my cameras, um, you know, when I shoot something, it has to be like at least two or three cameras. Yeah. And they're actually just me vlogging cameras. I have cameras to there for photography. Probably I have like six or seven cameras. Wow. wow. But I've always, this is my passion since before uh, the vlogging era. Mm. <laughs> so it makes me so happy um, having um, all of this equipment. And will I buy more camera? 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> In a big circle now. <laughs> yes. Exactly. The, uh, cameras or camera accessories are like my guilty pleasure. So, like, it's something I would splurge in a whim. <laughs> yeah, but um, what else? I would say this is what I wanted to say earlier having strong principles. Mm, so, yes. saying no to something that um, I don't want to be addicted to is, I'm, I'm very good at that. So, that would be. Um, uh, the best gift that was ever given to me. Who gave it to me? <laughs> I you give know. it to yourself. I give it to myself. Yes. yes, exactly. I think the gift of a trip to Japan, because mm. that's like my, I've been talking about this so many times. It's my dream to go to Japan. So I finally get to go there and experience Japan. So that's the thing that was given to me as a gift. And I think... The life gift, um, I think it's the contentment. Mm. Mm. So wherever I go, I, I just, I, I am very easy. I get contented very easily. Yeah, so, okay. if you give me rice only for lunch or breakfast, I'll just eat it and I will not complain. <laughs> That's totally a gift. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I do not wish to be impoverished uh, for the rest of my life. But I think that poverty is a blessing in disguise. Growing up being impoverished, I think it's a blessing in disguise because poverty has really taught me a lot of good qualities. Mm -hmm. Like um, when you said uh, last time when we uh, met that I, was, I am grounded, that's actually something I could also tell uh, to myself. And I'm not... I have never caught myself being jealous with what other people have. That's so so cool. poverty has really taught me a lot of these mm, uh, yeah. good qualities. And I'm thankful that I have um, experienced that. I do not wish to be that anymore. <laughs> I already have the good qualities. <laughs> it's a joke. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. And nobody, I have not... Um, heard anyone thanking their impov impoverished life really um, being able to actually learn from from their experience being mm -hmm. poor and all that like yeah. them being thankful because they were poor yeah I haven't heard anyone um, you know being thankful or grateful of that but yeah I, I just want to be grateful and thankful that I, I experienced the life I experienced uh, being able to actually eat once or twice a day and that uh, stage of my life had really taught me to just keep myself, uh, to, keep, to keep my feet on the ground always. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Shay. Like, growing up poor, I learned a lot to, to, not, to not spend so much money on things that are not important and just spend money on things that you need and maybe once in a while your wants. Yeah, so I, I learned how to save. I learned how how other people feels, how poor people like me feels, why they behave like this, why would they do things either good or improper because mm. you will understand what they are going through and money is the root of it. Not having money is the root of either evil or good. And I just want to say something to... Uh, some people, uh, some of us, when we, when you know, growing up, having nothing, mm -hmm. and some people could not really resist the temptation of changing themselves. Like, mm -hmm. have you noticed that? Like, yeah. there are people yeah. when they get a little money mm -hmm. or when their lifestyle change a little bit, yeah. and they forget where they were coming from. Yeah. And that's one thing I really, I'm proud of myself because, yeah. like. I'm not materially uh, um, inclined. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, you can hear people saying, oh, I wish I have that car. Yeah. I wish I have this yeah. and that. Like, I'm not really into that. Mm -hmm. And, and, but I've, I've experienced or I've witnessed some people being like that. So yeah. I'm kind of like, you're doing great, Shay. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> not everyone is grateful for that. Yeah. yeah. That experience. Do you think of yourself as an opt optimist or a pessimist? 
Ikaw na? I am a realist. I am an optimist, but I also acknowledge the negatives because um, the negatives, that's really, it, it's going to surface, you know, anytime. Yeah. And acknowledge, I mean, not being able to acknowledge that, you're just really suppressing, um, I mean, you're, you're just suppressing it. So I would say I'm a realist. I'm. I'm a realist. I'm an optimistic person, but I do not really just set aside the negatives. Mm -hmm. I know you're. Optimistic. I'm optimistic. <laughs> 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 Mostly optimistic. Yeah. Like 99% uh, most of the time, I try to see really what's best in everything, even in the worst situation. <laughs> I still like. I, I still like find a switch to yeah. positive, but then when it, when that thing, I love that you said that because when there are times when you know the hormones time when we are mm -hmm. like not not all the time that I can be really optimistic. I, most of the time, but there are times that um, something comes like a wave, mm -hmm. and when there's a wave of negativity in life, yeah. um, what I usually do is I have to embrace that. I, I love when you mentioned that because. Those people that are like really optimistic, but then they would say, oh, be positive. No, you have to really embrace the negative. If you need to cry, if you need to, yeah. to, to be in the corner and, and sit with it, sit out with it for three days, do it. You have to let it in, in your system, and you do not ignore it. Let it in, and then try to find a way to release. Um, do not indulge or do not feed into it, though. Mm. But you need to acknowledge that negativity if that comes into your life um as you said you don't just set it aside because it will surface up it's like a small uh poison you know it's like for example like a cheese that you put in your bag yeah. in your purse okay i'm gonna have it later and then later on it will smell and you have to open it up so yes i'm optimistic most of the time but if there's a negative something that comes into my life I hug it, I embrace it, I cry it out, and then I really try to make a way to release it and don't don't feed on them for a longer period. Mm. Yes, me, I'm a realist also. I I want to because I like to think of the problem ahead of time so that I can solve or deal with them yeah. properly. So I'm a realist. Maybe a little bit optimistic from time to time. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> depends on the situation. It depends on what time of the month. Yes, that's it. It depends on the time of the month. How do you describe happiness? Happiness is a free of everything. <laughs> I would say free because you cannot be happy if you have a lot of uh, baggage. You cannot be happy if you have a lot of... Um, crazy thoughts in your head, mm -hmm. crazy thoughts, maybe like uh, the heavy thoughts. So for me, happiness is uh, something that makes you feel free, makes you feel light, and makes you feel just like a seven-year-old kid. <laughs> that's for me, that's happiness. How about you, Shay? Okay, so happiness for me, it's not a constant state. It is ever, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's dynamic and ever-changing. And there are other emotions like sadness, frustrations mm -hmm. that sometimes hinders the happiness. And I think that um, a lot of us don't really acknowledge or we don't like the the you know the the negative emotions because we just always want to be happy. Yeah. But for me, I acknowledge those um, um, negative emotions because without those. I wouldn't be, I think, be able to like really find joy and contentment yeah. because sometimes we only appreciate things when we are actually going through something. Yeah, yeah. And if it's just happiness all the way, I don't know. It's kind of like hard to find contentment there because because there's no, I don't know, there's no struggle. You there's cannot no... appreciate the light without going through the darkness. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So happiness is not a constant state because again, we're humans, we are, our emotions are a roller coaster, especially mm -hmm. if you're a woman. And <laughs> again, it depends and you're on a what Filipina. Time of the... Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's dynamic and uh, ever-changing, so, but 
I'm happy when I'm happy. I'm happy when I go through with a lot of these negative emotions because it is needed. It's yeah. not it's not something we want, but it's needed. Yeah. There's a saying, there's a rainbow after the rain. Mm. So <laughs> that's a song actually. <laughs> Yeah, so I totally agree with you, Shay and Leia. Of course, you need to go through the sadness, the frustration, and every other emotion to feel happiness. It's necessary. Sometimes it's a choice. No? Sometimes it's yes. a choice. When you have contentment, yeah, um, yeah, you choose to be uh, content. Therefore, you are. Some people choose to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know a lot of people who choose yeah. to suffer. Because they think that they need to suffer. <laughs> yeah. Do you think money can buy happiness? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you first, you first. <laughs> okay. Okay, I volunteer. <laughs> okay, to some extent, um, I would say money can definitely buy happiness. I feel happy when I'm able to pay my bills, my, to pay my rent. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm able to actually set aside money for my savings. Um, to give me security. Security equals to happiness to me as well. Mm -hmm. So yes, money can, can buy happiness. Is it my only definition for happiness? No, it's not my only source of happiness. I'm happy when I have good relationships with my daughters and with my partner, with everyone whom I love. Yeah. Um, happiness is, to me, also being able to actually travel, yeah. <laughs> uh, do what I want, like like I just can like you know drive my bike and and go somewhere without you know somebody checking my tail, uh, <laughs> you know, without somebody uh, getting mad where I was. Um, happiness to me also is being able to actually we talked about it earlier help kids. Mm. Um, help kids and help the senior citizens. Mm. Like they the are dogs. very close to my heart. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, being able to actually help the community. Um, there are happiness is like it's very subject subjective, and there's not just one definition. But yes, money can buy happiness, but it's not the only source of happiness because I have other happiness too. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I want to listen to Shavers. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, like, have you seen the meme? If you don't, if you don't believe that money can buy happiness, send your money to me. <laughs> send your money to me. Yeah. <laughs> if I, you're not happy with it. I a meme that I'd rather cry in my yacht. Oh, yeah, yeah. Being rich <laughs> Being or with rich money, right? With money, then cry in poverty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, money can buy happiness, but it's not everything. It's a it's a tool to achieve happiness, to buy happiness, like pay your bills or help other people, buy whatever you want and buy your, whatever your family needs. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, I want to add. Sure, sure. I'm a single mom for so long now. And really, a single mom's problem is really money, right? Exactly. We work so hard, but mm. it's, sometimes it feels like we're just working and then everything goes to pay bills. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, you know, once we're able to actually pay our bills, we're, we're happy, but then we're kind of like sad because we have to work yeah. to pay yeah. the bills again. <laughs> like, yeah, so... Yeah, that's the common denominator of us. <laughs> we can relate to that. Work, work, work. You know. <laughs> yes. But yeah, okay. Um, let me uh, start it with uh, money is energy. And uh, we grew up in a society where uh, we were taught about or we were exposed to money as a root of all evil, right? Yeah. And it took me a lot of years <laughs> to take out that limiting belief because money is just energy money is just one of the abundant energy that you have in your life so i would say abundance is something that would bring you happiness not just money so money is one of the uh things that that is like an abundant energy, prosperity energy. So of course it can provide you a lot of stuffs, and especially us that we have um, gone through the those days where we really had to struggle. Yeah. So the more we appreciate the abundance that we had now, that we have now because of that. So for us, it's not necessarily money. 
sometimes just a gift from someone who uh, who's giving us a free uh, coffee or the salon <laughs> that she uh, earlier. So it's it's I count it as abundance is happiness, abundance in everything, abundance in health because. Health can, uh, disease also can cost you a lot. Mm. But if you're healthy, you're abundant in health. Mm. So abundance in all aspects. And that comes, money is just one of them. So when you have abundance in, a, in your aspects of life, I think that's when really like happiness is there. Abundance of love, abundance of, I think you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> abundance in, in everything, not just money. So yes, when you're going to ask me specifically if money can buy happiness, yes, it does. Practically, yes, it does. Um, we, because, because money is freedom. It can give you freedom. It can give you free of mind. But as I said, as what they have mentioned, I love it when you really like uh, uh, specifically tell that, that it's not just money that is the 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 cause of happiness or the source of happiness but then yeah i'm gonna cover it the abundance uh in all aspects of life is happiness okay thank you so much leia and shay for sharing your thoughts your life lessons in my channel today yes thank you so much <laughs> thank you. guys don't forget to check out leia and shay's channel i will link their channel in the description down below and i think this is the end of this vlog so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again soon Paalam. <laughs>